Welcome back to the Burnout Ute project. Today we're going to start making the manifold, the turbo manifold. This is the turbo. We've done a review on it on our channel. We've got a GT something or other, max speeding rods. So we we're kind of thinking and talking and we sort of decided it'd be pretty cool if we just mounted it like this, like forward, sort of sit it around about there on the engine. So for that, we have acquired some pipes, scrap pipe that we found. So what the thinking is to have two sections. Have this larger one for the flange. This one will receive the number one and number two cylinder. And then the rest, four cylinders, will sort of receive in a thinner pipe. And then we're just gonna do straight runners into the laser cut flange that we had already laying around for about six months. Uh, AKA Skid Factory. Yeah. <laughs> log. log skid stuff. Factory log, yeah. So yeah. basically we're just going to do this and then cap it at both ends and then smash a flange into it. I, I, I got flange laser cut this one when um, we got the flange for the exhaust laser cut but I didn't do a good job measuring it and I'll still show sure what the problem is. And the problem with this... <laughs> My measurements is that it's just it's just wrong. Everything lines up, but you can see that step there. I just made it. I made this opening too big. I don't know why. Uh, I think I might have just going by the gasket. Uh, I should have just been going by this. We just have to order one of these. But apart from that, we've got everything. Head down to the forge, uh, and we can make a bit more noise. And we'll take this down there. The pipe, this, the hole saw. That's about everything. Everything else can stay. That's what bolts up to the cylinder head. Two piece log. Figuring out where to cut the pipe. Like right there. And then we will like flare one end of it. Heat it up in the forge and flare it out. So it sort of meets closer to this pipe. So we get a bit of better transition. Yeah. It's log. Yeah, so it's maybe. Big. It's heavy, it's wood. Yeah, that's right. So maybe we can start with that. We can start with just cutting it there and then getting on the forge and just flaring one end of it and then just kind of tacking that to that and then after we do that we can mark where to actually drill the holes for it as well and we're going to make the runners out of this pipe it's a little bit smaller it's quite a thick pipe too yeah thick gas pipe so there should be no issues there we're going to stoke up your uh, your forge yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, well, do you want to maybe cut this then? I can do. Set, set up the saw. Back for eight, eight. And just like that, super log was born. Yep. Super super log. All right. Let's fire up the welder and just tack it. I kind of feel like I need to reload this. Oh yeah? You're not happy with it? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't welded for a while, so... Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it would just uh, drill holes in it. I mean, it's strong enough. Yeah, I guess to just mark out the holes based on the flange.
Go slow, right? You got yourself a log. You got yourself a log, mister. Yeah, so we've got the, um, the log um, sort of done. Well, the base for it, and then we've got a bit of rusty pipe, of course, that's going to be the runners. I'm going to have to profile them as well. But I think before we even put that in, we'll like, I'll go through with the die grinder and just clean up all the burrs inside and all that stuff. But yeah, it should work really well. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna go choo choo. Yeah, so it's like this. Check. Everything lines up. Too easy. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just trying to putting it in and just trying to mark it more consistently. And then this is just so the gases sort of flow. Because I mean, if you have a look in there. If we don't do that, see when the thing sits in there, it's blocking half the, it's blocking half the thing. You're not gonna have a good time to do that. Yeah, you can't really do too much there. So it's just really for flow, kind of benefits. So we're just gonna go grind, just that. Uh, yeah, we'll what, just, what you're marking out there. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this bit, these bits. Yeah, look, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do. It. We'll do something. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna go over the top with it. Just sort of mark them out, mark them and cut this extra material out. It'll work. Like, I don't know. What's get wrong with you, buddy? Just to get like steroid injection. Oh. Just two cuts on that. Cutty cutty. Cut there and cut there. Yeah, it's a verdict, boss. Not restricting, so. Do another couple. Opposite of precision work. <laughs> <laughs> so what went wrong? What went wrong, boss? <laughs> You're going in the holes. Yeah, so this one's short and this one's long, so let me just swap these around. Plus these aren't cut completely square, so they're not sitting. Yeah, exactly. That won't go in. The last one. Just a bit more. cut into it and then kind of like mount it and we just have to have like maybe like transition here yeah like into there and then just kind of box it up so like the servo sits up a bit from the manifold like that yeah. Alright, 
so we just tacked uh, the, the flange and uh, our creation to a bit of a thick uh, piece of L-shaped beam. I think they use it for windows when they do brick houses. Yeah. Just like put it in. Lintels, I think. What's it called? Lintel. Lintel, yeah, that's the one. So now, hopefully, when we do our welding, the, uh, it won't be banana. They run pretty well, these Lincoln 8018 rods, made for high pressure vessels, uh, made for welding um, steel that's got a lot of uh, carbon, tool steel. Oh, we don't have to use, we could just use normal rods, but yeah. I just have them laying around. Once this thing spikes up to about 40 psi, we're glad we're using these. Yeah, things. <laughs> 40 psi. <laughs> So that's what happens to these um, low hydrogen rods. It's kind of like when they cools down, it forms like this bowl, like this kind of ceramic bowl. And that's why you have to, to restart the rod. You have to smash that kind of thing off it. Right. Or alternatively, you just get pliers and you just cut a little bit off yeah, so yeah. it goes back to steel. That's why these rods, they get, you get a better finish with the low hydrogen rods and yeah. they're stronger and they're better pretty much in every way. But yeah, they're a little bit harder to use because of that. If you don't stop, if you like burn the whole rod, I guess it's okay. It's easy, yeah. Because yeah. once you still, if you're just doing passes, yeah. straight passes, it's these, these guys are the way to go. Yeah. Because the, the difference is, yeah, like well, it, 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 it's a cleaner well, like it's... Um, I, don't know, I can't really explain it. It just flows a lot better. I, mm. I don't know. Like less junk gets in the well. Yep. Yep. It's not pretty. Sure. I had to fill some pretty big gaps there. You did. But she'll chooch, right? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely you got, chooch. You got my uh, chooch guarantee. Oh, excellent. 12 months only. Yeah, 12 months. <laughs> 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 There you go. Still hot. Still a few holes in there, but I can just fill them up with a with a MIG at a later date. At a later date. But there you have it. There you have it, folks. I'm making some progress on the terminal manifold. Sure. Yeah. Serious bit of kit. Yeah. 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 Engineered to perform. In log form. <laughs> <laughs>
to help us out. Um, we've got some cool shirts. Uh, we've got Money Pit um, <clears throat> videos going to be coming out soon as well, and hopefully next couple of weeks. Buy some merch, subscribe to the channel, comment please. Um, we're doing everything wrong and we want to know about it, so <laughs> it's up to you yes. to let us know that we're doing everything wrong. That's right. <clears throat> no one else can tell us. We don't have any other car friends. <laughs> That's right. Other car friends come here and they're like, eh, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Do you want to go out and get a pint? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We're the only car people in this sector. <laughs> sector 7G. 7G. <laughs>